Let me turn that off for a second. Goodness gracious. Oh, what a product. G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here, and today I am reviewing for you the 40 watt LTO 28 light from Ulanzi. You're like, well, I don't know, what does that mean? <laughs> Glad you asked. Means it's a rechargeable bicolor COB, which is chip on board, lights chip on board, means you get constant color from the light. And here it is. Let me just turn it on. Like a bit of a hello boys. It's bright, right? And we'll get into that in just a minute. Let me turn it off for a second. Goodness gracious. So here is the light. It's nice and portable, and you'll notice there's no cables connected to it at all. So it has a rechargeable battery on board. The rechargeable battery is 3,200 milliamps per hour, which gives you bang for your buck. So if you have this on maximum brightness, you get 75 minutes worth out of the battery. It takes three hours to recharge. And if you have it on minimum brightness, you'll get five hours out of it. That is a good deal right there, right? Look how small it is. You can take this off. This is a mini Bowens attachment, not to be mistaken or adaptable to a Bowens mount, which then just clicks on like this and this is the square it has some nice little diodes on the back and so basically you have your on and off so if i turn it on with this switch it takes a couple of seconds and then boom fires up you have fans on the bottom side and top that keep it cool which means you can use it at maximum power without it blowing up melting something or melting its own self you have two diodes so this one simply turns down the intensity of the light and as you can see does it quite quickly so that's one percent guys and then this is a hundred percent and i will turn the lights off in just a second we'll get to see how bright this really is has this hum listen to the hum so now you know how loud it is. It's a little bit of a hum there. So it's not silent, but that's the fans working to keep it cool. It's a small unit and therefore it needs a lot of circulation. On the other diode, we have the CCT. It goes from cold at 65,000 all the way down to 2,500, which is beautifully warm. And again, I'll show you what that looks like on my stunning face in just a jiffy. You also have eight effects. So if I click the CCT button, it gives me access to the effects. And we have paparazzi. <laughs> get a lot of that so i should should be well aware of what it is eh? <laughs> faulty bulb candle and you'll notice candle is orange faulty bulb is white when it gets faulty and starts working there you go so it changes the colors and uses the colors that it has available to it to suit its needs rather than just um, you having to alter it just giving you a light effect tv lightning and you need to recognize that there's no other colors mixed in. So you're not gonna get an emergency light where it's gonna somehow go red and blue. It's only gonna operate in that cool to warm um, Kelvin range. Has on the bottom a nice little quarter 20 inch for mounting. And as you saw, it was mounted before on this tripod. You can mount it on anything for anything. And it can uh, uh, plug straight into DC power. Plugs. Sorry about all the rattling and banging into the back of the light. It is secure and lodged in there. It's not going to pop out and you can use it indefinitely on any power you like for as long as you like because it's plugged into the mains and not relying on this battery. All up, this weighs 460 grams. So it's half a kilo or a pound for all those of you in America. You're welcome. And what I'm going to do now is kill these studio lights and we're going to see what sort of lighting we can expect out of this. So here we go. <laughs> you can't see me, can you? All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ready? Here we go. Ah, it's so bright. Has a light on the back of this for you. 22%. So I'm going to bump that up to 100. I like to shoot at 5,500. It can even go up in 50 Kelvin increments. And that is 100, guys. Look how bright that is. So I'm just going to... Just going to pull it back. Look at that. Magic of studio, right? Um, and that is, uh, it's about a meter 75 from my face. So if we go back a bit more, we go back to say two meters, that's at two meters guys. So you can see me clearly and I can vlog to this at two meters away. That, that's two and a half meters away on full brightness. That's how powerful it is guys. Let's just see if we can change it to a warmer light. I might just become more endearing to you. I feel like I've been more endeared to you. So that would be around 2,500 and it's super warm. 
because it's a bit chilly before, but it's nice and warm now. So the other benefit of this light is it comes with a diffuser. And so what we're going to do now is I'm going to put the diffuser on and you can see how it softens the light wonderfully rather than a harsh light that it is now it makes it into a beautiful softened light for that intimate and, and warm sort of lighting scenario that you might be after. Here is the diffuser and it's simple. You just push it onto the front. And as I do that, I should tell you that there's links in the description for this below. And if you use one of them, you get a 10% discount if you use the coupon code that's down there too. So you are sort of really helping us both out with that. Um, and so I'd encourage you if you're keen on this to use that link. So that's a diffused light. So if I have it 3% at arm's length, it's pretty, pretty amazing. So what I'm going to do now is let's put it up to 100 and we'll bring it to a couple of meters away and see how that compares to what it was. That's two meters away and I reckon I look better. I'll do a side by side comparison. See, this is what I used to look like at two meters away with the harsh light and this is what I look like with a diffused light. And two final things just to be aware of that if you leave this on while this is on high for a long time, this is probably going to melt. It might not, but it probably will. It has little ventilation marks here um, that allow it stretch around the cone. But just be really careful because these lights can get very, very hot. And also, um, it's an American plug. So you can easily get a adapter for Australia or anywhere else you are, but it's American plug. So just be aware of that. It's just an amazing accessory. And what's cool is you can actually pop off the diffuser, crumple it up, turn it around, and store it in the cone on the front of the light. Oh! What a product. If this pumps you up, gets you excited, and you want to get into it, use the links in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. I love hanging out with you guys. And if you want to see more reviews, give this a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.